made this ruling last month. He is going to be handcuffed to manager Chris Danger for this championship bout as Danger's charge. The CCW World Heavyweight Champion Forsaken will soon come out here to face the challenger already in the ring, Electric Eric Freedom. This, the main event of CCW, Crony of the Champ 2, as Freedom is going to bring Danger in the hard way here. Paradise already with the handcuff on his wrist. And Danger. Oh! Paradise about to handcuff himself to Danger in this championship match, but Forsaken, the heavyweight champion of CCW, coming in from behind, attacking the challenger Eric Freedom. Can't tell what's going on here. Well, evidently, Forsaken always has a trick up his sleeve. But his oh. sleeves aren't very long tonight as uh, Danger in Paradise handcuffed nonetheless. And Forsaken and Freedom. This is going to be one-on-one -on -one for the CCW World Heavyweight title. And Forsaken getting sent into that, that table at ringside. Well, Eric Freedom definitely feels like he's overdue because on the past you know, few shows that Eric Freedom has put his bid in for that title, it just comes up short. And that's not just because of the height differential between the two men. Oh, into the wall. Well, I tell you what, Freedom, I think, has definitely had his fill. Oh, my goodness. And now it's Forsaken hammering away on Eric Freedom. The action's pretty rough here in CCW. And there's none rougher or tougher than the heavyweight champion Forsaken. Well, as you see Forsaken putting that big boot across the throat there, trying to take the air out of Eric Freedom. Now measuring him up. Oh, big right hand. Following up with an elbow drop, but he misses. Freedom out of the way. Eric Freedom, a series of right hands now. Again, Eric Freedom resorting to desperate measures to uh, keep breaking the rules to get the upper hand on Forsaken. Oh, Freedom thought about it, measured him out, and delivered a headbutt downstairs. We see, there is no call for that. You see how Eric Freedom is, you know, going to the cheating to try to get something that he just can't oh, get. Oh, danger tripping Freedom there. Paradise going after the, the manager, but Forsaken. Evidently, it looks like Rick Paradise is over there looking for a seat, you know, old man, he can't stand up too long. Well, that's true. But Forsaken standing tall in the middle of the ring here. He's got the challenger by the hair now, draping the throat of freedom across the ropes. And the man straight from the 60s is in dire straits here. Electric Derek Freedom wants that heavyweight title, but right now he's going to be wanting a, a, a good breath of air more than anything. i tell you, see, Rick Paradise, you know, uh, keeping Chris Danger, you know, in spots, so to speak. And speaking of spots, you know, Forsaken's finding the right spot with them big hands that he's throwing. He's picking his spots and he's throwing his punches. The champ is in control here in the main event. Well, it definitely looks like Forsaken is starting to toy with freedom there a little bit. Deciding what he wants to do here and there. Slowly but surely picking them piece by piece. Slow and methodical. That's the... Uh that's the tempo that Forsaken likes to keep in his matches. He's a big man. He doesn't want to get run ragged in that ring. He's not a high flyer. He is a bit of a trash talker, though. He has a five count to break the choke, and he does so. Well, evidently, James Delvin. The referee just uh, trying to maintain some control here. As you see, Rick Knight trying to control himself. Maybe he's got bowel movement or something. Now he can't well, sit still. It's not going to be a, a great night for Paradise if he's uh, going to be handcuffed to danger all night because once, once Forsaken, which I'm sure he's going to get the win here because I'm a big Forsaken fan. 
What's going to happen when Paradise has left their handcuff to Chris Danger? That's what I want to know. He's he's using his his control right now. His job as commissioner. He's throwing his weight around. That's right. But yeah. Forsaken's doing the same thing with Eric Freedom. I mean, for, Freedom's been after Forsaken for months now. These guys have been feuding basically all this calendar year of 2004. Now it's come down to this, a rematch from last month, their second one-on-one -on -one bout for the heavyweight championship. Irish whip, sunset flip. Well, enough Freedom to thought he'd try to pull out a quick upset there, but all he caught was a big forearm. Clothesline, that is. Either one will do it. In any event, Freedom is down. Forsaken back in control here. Now with his feet on the hair, pulling up with the arms. That's a pretty punishing maneuver there for the long-haired hippie. Hell, last time I seen something like that was on the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Boy, oh. now that is an old move. Well, Freedom doesn't look too gorgeous at this point. Although he does kind of look like a little bit like gorgeous Jimmy Garvin, I guess. But uh, Forsaken and Freedom back and forth here. And you see Forsaken turn around and classic cutoff with the thumb to the eyes to stop Eric Freedom. Breaking him across the ropes there. Freedom just struggling to survive this match. He eats another right hand. Well, evidently, the uh, referee starting to aggravate Forsaken there a little bit. Forsaken wants him off his back. Well, which all night, James Dublin has just been doing a terrible job. He, he shouldn't even be wearing a referee shirt. I think he's actually paid. Well, I'm glad he's wearing a shirt. Well, so am I. But he hasn't been making good calls at all tonight. You heard it here from our former head referee, Nicholas H., folks. Now the manager extraordinaire, along with yours truly, Master J., the technical wizard of CCW. It's forsaken, pulling away at that hair pulling away at the hair of CCW's answer to Rupert from Survivor. Let's see if the electric one can survive this one-on-one -on -one contest here. Another solid right hand from the heavy hitter. Big boot to the head. The slow and methodical approach is working for Forsaken here as he whips him in. Oh, big boots in the face. That's got to be all. He said he should just go down for the pin, but he's going to take a, take a little bit more air away from Eric Freedom before he does something like that. Well, it definitely shows that Forsaken is not worried about Eric Freedom at this point in time, where he's kind of uh, gallivanting to the crowd out there. Freedom blocking. And again. Oh, he shoots Forsaken. Three, four, five. See, along, again, refer the referee's not doing a darn thing about it. Yeah, James Dublin there just, I, I can't, I'm just appalled by the referees that CCW has tonight on the show. Well, in any event, Mr. H, Freedom has taken control, shoots him in. Oh, he went for a clothesline, but Forsaken did not budge. And again, no effect. The hippie force meaning the immovable object, and there he hits a flying clothesline. Champ goes down. Danger makes his way in. I don't know what happened there, but he's not... Somehow he made his way out of the handcuffs. Couldn't see what transpired on the outside, but I, I don't know what happened to... Green Paradise at this point. Freedom I, I think, has I think Green, danger. I think Rick Paradise turned around and fell asleep or something. I don't know, fans, but Freedom's going to take care of danger here. Shooting him into the corner. Danger. Oh, Stops it seems Freedom's like Forsaken. Forsaken has the championship belt, but he's doing something. 
can't quite tell what's going on here. Well, as Eric Freedom turns around and he's asking the crowd if he should finish off Forsaken, I think he's going to see what's going on here as he slowly works his way over there to Forsaken. And what's going on here? Oh, my goodness. A fireball. Forsaken with a fireball to the face of Freedom. What in the world? That's it, Forsaken. Incredible. Turns around and keeps his title once again. But what's a, where did that fireball come from? I don't unbelievable know, I, think fans. I, I think somebody was taking a picture or something. I seen a flash. I think it was a picture. I know, Nicholas H. I mean, that's... Incredible contest here. Hard-hitting action that ends with a fireball. Now we see Forsaken. Oh, come on. He's got to stop this. No way. This is Eric Fr Here the locker room starting to clear out. With Andrew McLeod, Nathan Grimley, rough crossing. 